Alright guys, today I'm going to go over um, a problem for parallel circuits. And this is number two on the parallel circuit worksheet. Um, number two, so let's look, let's look at this. What is the voltage across each bulb? So, we first of all, we know this is parallel because it has branches. Okay? And because it's parallel, the voltage will be the same at each branch. So it will be 12 volts here and 12 volts here. So my total voltage is just 12 volts. What is the current in each branch? Okay, to find current, I have to use Ohm's law, I equals V over R. So if I do that here, 12 divided by 3, that is equal to 4 amps. Okay, that's right here. Now if I do it here, it's also the same thing. 12 divided by 3 is 4 amps. And so that is taken care of. Next one, what is the total current provided by the battery? So what I do is just I just add them up. 4 plus 4 is going to equal 8 amps of current. Uh, D, use the total current and the total voltage to calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Um, so for this, we're not going to worry about solving it this way. Um, I'd rather you learn the way that um, it's presented to you in your equation sheet. So this is how it should be solved. We have 1 over R total. And we're going to go and look at our resistances. 1 over 3 ohms plus... 1 over 3 ohms. So 1 third plus 1 third is equal to 2 thirds. Okay. And then we have to, we're not done there. After that, we have to take the inverse. And for me, this is the easiest way to do it. Take the inverse, you can either just do 1 over 2 thirds, or if it's already in a fraction, you can just. Um, you can just flip your fraction 3 over 2. And so both of these, both of these is the same thing. Same thing. Um, it equals 1.5 amps. Okay. Now the other way that I could have solved it also, um, I could have said 1 over R total is equal to 2 thirds. All right, and I have 2R total is equal to 3, All right? Because I'm cross multiplying like this. And I divide each side by 2. And so R total is 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So those are two different ways you can solve it. Usually I just take the inverse because it's the easiest for me. So hopefully now you can solve the rest of the problems. If you have any questions, you can ask me.